Captain's Log, Toronto Star, June 15, 2018. We've written a terrible article to stop the advancement of logic and reason in this primitive, two-gendered society. Entitled, Unemployable. Which is the real Lindsay Shepard? You know Lindsay Shepard, right? The girl who was reprimanded by Laurier University staff because she dared to show a debate featuring Jordan Peterson, and then the staff made up fake complaints about her that didn't actually exist in order to try to get her in more trouble? That might have been seen as problematic by, uh, by some of the students, maybe even threatening? Um, I, don't, I don't see how someone would rationally think it was threatening. Um, I, I could see how it might challenge their existing ideas, but for me, that's, that's the spirit of the university, is challenging ideas that you already have. Yeah. Is one or multiple students who have come forward saying that this is something that they were concerned about and that it made them uncomfortable. Well, she's back now, and she's suing for millions through an employment lawyer, and they're claiming that it's impossible for her to get a job in the academic field now. They also cite the fact that Laurier did not follow their own disciplinary guidelines, and also because they made up false complaints about her. Well, first of all, they didn't follow any of their own procedures, any of them, and I delineate that in detail in the statement of claim. Secondly, they invented a fictitious complaint or complaints. We just heard that in the short passage you played about the complaint or complaints. There were no complaint or complaints, and they lied about that. And why might she not be able to get jobs in her field? Well, it's quite possibly due to articles not unlike the one I'm about to show you. But Andrew, why do you care about this? For the record, I'd rather be talking about something more positive, like the Outstanding Student Award Lindsay recently received. But it seems more and more that I need to be the one to tell my millions of followers about things that I believe are worth standing up for. This is local, I think it's important for free speech, and I think it's important to show the examples of people who are willing to lie no matter what to ruin someone's life or stop what they're trying to say because they can't come up with a coherent or valid argument in response. So get out your garbage bags, recycling bins, and what have you because this is one of the worst one-sided articles I've seen in a long time with no merit, which sole purpose is to discredit and smear a young girl who did absolutely nothing wrong. Garbage day! Huh? No! Ah! First of all, first, first of, of all, all. I'll skip past the horrible grammar that is the title and get right to the columnist whose title is Race and Gender Columnist. You might be saying, how is that a real title? I definitely don't want to read this. But how I see it is, this is going to be a sweet article. She feels entitled to being shielded from pushback after belittling peers and seniors. She feels entitled to millions of dollars from a lawsuit, all the while building a national brand. What a great opening and it doesn't at all want me to throw up due to its stupidity. I'll keep reading for you. She was propelled by mostly older white journalists and found support among so-called free speechers who hailed her as a hero, a resistor of the perceived degradation of higher learning. What is wrong with you, lady? All she did was show a debate video. That's it. One can argue about whether Shepard's introduction of gender-neutral pronouns in a class on technical writing and grammar, which then led to at least one student commenting about the intelligence of trans folks, is the duty of a teaching assistant. Yes, one could argue that. They could. Oh my god, at least one student made a comment? Which definitely means, by the way, that only one student made a comment. And she either doesn't know what the comment is, or she's not showing it because it doesn't support her point of view here. Or else why not just show the quote? Again, remind you that these are adults at college. These aren't high school or elementary school students. Most commenters agree that at least some of the content was problematic. Problematic. The word you use when you want to be outraged, but you can't really prove why you should be. But actually, no, most people don't think it's problematic. The people you follow probably think it's problematic. The people I follow probably think that it's not problematic. The difference is, is that I'm not silly enough to claim that, I don't know, 20 people on Twitter is evidence that most commenters think it's problematic. One can also argue about the ethics of secretly taping a conversation and releasing it to the media. Uh, no, they can't. <laughs> And one thing I've tried to echo is that this type of news, if you can call it that, it really relies on you not knowing the full story for yourself. Which is why a good writer makes sure to include all the pertinent info in the article regardless of what they think the reader might already know so that anybody who isn't aware can quickly catch up. 
The ethics are that it's not illegal, and everything on the tape completely legitimizes why she might have recorded it. She might have recorded it because she thought she was going to get screwed over. And guess what? They did try to screw over. They made up quotes, they made up complaints, just to try to stop her from showing something as harmless as a debate video. They made stuff up to get her to be silent. How more obvious can it be that she was justified in doing this? What I want to know is, where are the women's rights? Where's the, the faux fake feminists on this one? Or is it only if they agree with you that you're willing to defend their right to free speech? And to be heard? This next part, I'm going to sit here and let you read it as it scrolls by and then just offer sound bites of disgust. <laughs> oh my god. Nobody's arguing trans existence. We can't be hearing different opinions, how dare you? You're treating these students, who are adults, like babies. She then goes on to claim that people don't get jobs at universities right now because of their race or because of their accent. In Canada, in 2018, at Canadian universities. No citation, no evidence, just virtue signaling hearsay to be like, victims, my god, we're all victims. Then she asks, how does this unemployed grad student possibly afford this lawsuit? Shocking, isn't it? It's almost as if, if you have blatant evidence of a school making things up to punish you under false pretenses, an employment lawyer might see that and say, this is an easy win. How strange. Lastly, she says, bad ideas shouldn't get a platform. And of course she says that. But what if somebody thought that your ideas, which are pretty bad, shouldn't get a platform. You'd be out of a job, and I'm pretty sure you wouldn't like it. And then to close out, we need to sound the irony alarm. <coughs> Thank you. Learning a few hard lessons along the way in life is called growing up. And considering the experiences of those whose shoes we never need walk in is part of that learning. In this case, it looks like it's not happening. You just spent far too many words arguing against a young girl being smeared on the basis of nothing just because you agree with the guy who made stuff up about her. You think her completely rational ideas are problematic, you think people that you disagree with should not be allowed to be heard, and then ask if she has all this coming to her, and then claim that possibly others are the ones that need to grow up? Dude, what the fuck? The world is not meant for such vindictiveness. And for those who lie like those against Lindsay Shepard do, they will never achieve the attention and the love that they so truly desire. Because lashing out and going after others especially under false pretenses, is not the way to advance or achieve things in life. It is a pathway to perpetual loneliness and a lifetime of trying to find societal injustices where they aren't. And if you can't find them, then you're going to find yourself making some up so that there's something to fight. Always the victim and never the victor. Most beautiful Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. My videos probably aren't showing up in your recommended, and I have a few questions about that, so don't forget to check back or click the bell. Thanks for watching. Premeditated murder. And I think about killing myself, and I love myself way more than I love you.